a busy weekend. Uh, multiple cars in the parking lot. A couple big groups um, just behind us waiting to get in. So never want to feel that rush to get to a campsite, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Lots of firsts on this trip here at the uh, Seagram Lake Chain. I haven't been here um, to this area. I'm familiar with uh, Nopuming Park, but haven't been down this uh, particular route as of yet. So excited for that. Also, it's uh, my first daddy-daughter backcountry canoe trip. And uh, that's exciting. And uh, it's also my daughter's first backcountry canoe trip. So should be a lot of fun, great experience and uh, good exposure and seems like a good good moderate uh, challenging route. There we go. Got some other campers out here. Looks nice. Here we are, portage number two. It took us about 15 minutes across the first unnamed lake. Uh, so we've got a group of four in front of us. Uh, nice group of people. And uh, they said it's uh, about the same length and, uh, in distance as the first one. So we'll see. So far, so good. Okay, you lead the way. Day. We're out here on Second Unnamed Lake. So another group told us that uh, the portage was a mark. Uh, so they're kind enough to point us in the right direction, which is nice of them. Sounds like uh, there's only one other group on the lake, so there's lots of lots of choices, um, which is great. So we'll see when we get to Elton Lake what it's like um, and uh, hoping to get an island site which would be awesome. It looks like on this lake there's I can see a couple signs uh, there's a couple campsites on this lake. Um, it looks like there's plenty of options. Here we are at portage number three. Looks like somebody's coming out. Doesn't have a sign so you gotta watch out for that. You can see there's a bucket, uh, some marker tape hanging there. Um, so it's just to the right of the, the Mark campsites, um, and there's a giant rock that's 20 feet in diameter by 10 feet high. So it's just to the right of that. Um, so we'll just hang tight here and, and wait till they uh, they pass. out of portage number three we are on Elton Lake We're gonna go find our campsite talk to some people on the lake and might be the only ones here right now and they give us some uh, pointers on some nice island campsites so apparently there's one right when you come out of the channel there's there's one uh, nice island site, they said, which is pretty good. Um, but they said there's a real good one, the northwest part of the lake. Um, the last site going into Seagram Lake. So we're going to head for that one and go check it out. Um, 
we have a topographic map as well. So I recommend getting those because the park maps don't necessarily show uh, these small islands. Uh, so you can get a bit more detail with the topographic maps. So highly, rec highly recommend carrying those and also just to uh, see what's around you. So you can do some exploring, see if there's any uh, points of interest uh, that you want to explore. This is campsite number nine. Let's go check it out. It's like a little uh, fish station there, which is nice. Oh, it looks like some the lines for hanging a big tarp or like where we got all the like firewood and stuff yeah so oh, it doesn't cool. get too wet because there's trees here oh yeah it's kind of sheltered from the wind too yeah let's go check up top here it's a picnic table This is a nice sight. Dad. This is great. Nice fire pit there. Dad, look I found. Oh, someone left all the rope here. This campsite had close to 200 feet of rope strung up in the trees and on the ground when we arrived. I think people have good intentions sometimes to leave it for the next person. However, it's good practice in the backcountry to pack out all the gear you brought in. Let's go take a walk back here. Oh yeah, this looks like a great spot. A little bit of shelter from the wind, relatively flat. Looks like there's some trails here. Yeah, back here. It's it's more good shelter, too. but there could also be more animals. No, we're on an island, so I think we're, we're good for the animals. Let's down this trail. Let's go down here. Portage to Seagram Lake is at this side somewhere. Is like. it also a fish on this side? got the uh, Ascend Orion two-person tent. Just picked it up uh, a couple days ago.
uh, day number two. Uh, big thunder and lightning storm just passed through uh, pretty much all night and uh, just hunkered down in the tent. Um, ended up setting up um, this tarp you see behind me just to uh, stay a little dry and uh, give us some room to uh, get out of the tent and enjoy the outdoors. So beautiful day looks like today. Overcast, but looks like there's some uh, blue skies on the horizon. Day two, around uh, 12 o'clock, had some uh, breakfast and uh, late breakfast and looking to head out, see if we can catch some fish, uh, do some exploring. Also this island campsite uh, doesn't have a lot of wood, um, so we're gonna go searching for uh, some firewood. Uh, we're a little windbound. Um, there's some gusts coming from the Northwest. Um, so it may make it a bit challenging to paddle. Um, so we're gonna hide behind our, our island, uh, go towards uh, the Seagram Lake um, portage. So that'd be portage number four. Uh, maybe go take a walk down there and see what that's all about. And uh, maybe even uh, do some fishing and, and go onto that lake. Should be fun, hoping to get some fish, have a short lunch and uh, come back with a bunch of firewood and prepare for uh, tonight. Here we are at portage number four to Seagram Lake. Haven't been down this trail yet, so we'll see what it's like. Probably come uh, to Seagram another day just because of the winds, but we just came to uh, do some exploring, get some firewood. Since we're camped on an island that doesn't have much wood, Hello, bear! Coming down the trail! There's portage number four, and here's Seagram Lake. Looks well, nice. I like it. Nice bass. Fun to catch. There we go. Nice pickerel. We got two now. Be good for a short lunch. So far so good. We didn't catch any fish on day one and two, uh, but we found a nice little spot. Uh, we we're actually trolling in our canoe and we're able to uh, catch a couple pickerel. So we caught them on this gulp. I don't know if you can see that. Three inch killer crawlers. Um, seems to work good. We used it on a little Joe, uh, which seemed to be catching them.
but as you can see behind me, it's uh, looking pretty windy. So, we'll have to see uh, our approach here. We want to go... Where are we going here? Right that way. Here we are, portage. This would be the third portage in Delton Lake. The final portage. This is our last day, we're on our way home. Uh, so we're, uh, it's a little windy today, so it took us a while to get off the water. Pretty windy out there, it's going to be a fun paddle. You see this portage doesn't have a, a sign, so they have a bucket and some things parked on there. Also a giant rock 